Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Eternally Destined. The scriptures, as we know it today, as is composed in the Holy Bible. Originally, it wasn't written in English. The original languages, there are three of them. Predominantly, the First Testament was written in Hebrew. Uh, there was a very small portion that was written in the First Testament in Aramaic, and the Second Testament was written completely in Greek. Now, over time, uh, because people would... Uh, couldn't understand the original languages, it has been transposed or, or translated into other languages. Now because people uh, couldn't understand the original languages, it has been translated into other languages. One of the first languages that uh, the scripture was translated into was Greek, the Hebrew and the Aramaic into Greek. Uh, the entire Greek uh, scripture is called the, the Septuagint, and uh, later um, the Greek and, and the um, Hebrew, um, the scriptures was translated into Latin. Um, that was called the Vulgate, and uh, so on and so forth. In another one of my episodes, uh, God is Now Here or God is Nowhere, um, it is extremely important to understand the original language and the context just because uh, you could have an entirely different meaning associated with that. And because uh, I value language and I really like, uh, I like language, uh, we're going to take a look at a little bit of the Hebrew, what the First Testament is composed of, um, because I find it fascinating. It's very interesting. The first letter in Hebrew is called the Aleph. It looks like this right here. And it is composed of two of the other alphabet letters, Yod and Vav. Now, the Vav is here sideways, and we have one Yod that is upside down and one Yod that is slightly um, tilted, and they're all connected to the Vav. Now, Aleph is, is the first letter of the, of the Hebrew alphabet. It is like uh, our A, uh, or the, in Greek it is as the Alpha. Jesus in the New Testament, he is called the Alpha and Omega, or the Aleph and the Tav in English, he would be the A and the Z, which is the beginning and the end. One of the uh, neat features about the Aleph in Hebrew is that it's associated with God. Um, many names of God start or begin with the letter Aleph. Um, El, Elohim, uh, uh, Adonai, um, there's, there's others. And the Aleph is, is also uh, three pieces composed in one letter. There are two yods and one vav, a three in one, the trinity concept. Also, uh, another thing that's quite fascinating is that um, they say the yod, can, the yod that's pointing upwards, represents like, like uh, the divine. And, and the yod pointing downwards is representing uh, earthly, like the earthly realm, the divine realm and the earthly realm. And the vav that is sideways, a vav typically uh, represents a man uh, when he's standing up. And uh, a vav that is sideways is, is bent down like he's, he's kneeling or he's bowing, he, he's uh, in humility. And so here in the, in the letter Aleph, we have a humble man reaching both the divine and the earth, a symbol of Jesus. For Jesus humbled himself, became a man, and now connects humanity with divinity. So you have a three-in-one and a picture of Jesus in just the first letter of the alphabet, Aleph. It is also a silent letter, so it has no uh, pronunciation. Uh, it is typically associated with a, with a vowel, but uh, it is a silent letter. And in scripture, uh, speaking about Jesus, it says that he was silent. As a sheep goes before his shearers is silent, he spoke not a word. The Aleph is a picture of Jesus. The scriptures are amazing, and when you continue to read them and put time into it, you will learn all kinds of things. For wisdom does not come from man, wisdom comes from God. He is the source of all wisdom, and of all knowledge, of all understanding. Spiritual things, of course, are spiritually discerned, they're spiritually understood. So when you read, Take time to pray and ask Him for guidance and, and understanding. And do take time to read, because Jesus took time to bleed. My name is Daniel Rowe, and I just want to encourage you along your journey, because you are eternally destined.